Welcome back to Pain in the Roses Red. It's Becky and me. Guess what? We're back in the kitchen and we are going to make chile verde. So I chopped up a pork roast and we're going to put this in the pan. It's got olive oil in it. Add some seasonings and get on the road. So I started with about a pound and a quarter of pork roast. I chopped it up. This is not going to be the really long process of frying all the meat and then putting it back in the sauce, letting it do all that stuff. This is not a traditional chile verde. This is just my version. It's a little bit healthier, it's quicker, and yeah, like that. So there's about a tablespoon of olive oil, nothing fancy, just extra virgin olive oil. You put that in, like I said, about a pound and a quarter or so of pork root. And there is, and I don't measure, it's really bad, I'm sure. But there is brown oil garlic, some salt, and some parsley. There's probably about two teaspoons of yeast. Again, it really is the taste. So let's not try to be too crazy about it, yeah? So just, we're letting it brown. It doesn't really take that long. Again, we're not frying it in a bunch of oil. Just and this is a quick dish. You know, you just want to get food on the table for the family and get them back, right? You are still going to get those beautiful little crispy brown bits on the bottom, and you'll see that that brings a lot of flavor. The really cool thing about this recipe is it doesn't take really long. Plus, you can easily turn it into a casserole, add some vegetables, and you're done. Or you can use it just like it is and make a beautiful taco. Yay, who doesn't like tacos? Or a big fat burrito. Again, who doesn't like burritos? Yay, so it's yay, right? So, we're letting this down. And then we're going to throw the tomatillo salsa that we made in the last episode. So if you didn't see that, I will go ahead and put that in the cards above so that you can go back for that recipe. I promise you'll love it. Remember, you can add as much or as little as you want to this. We don't want to drown it, but we want to cover it pretty well. So there you go. That's it. We're all done. So whether you decide to make a taco with a crispy taco shell, make a burrito with a big giant tortilla or have some wonderful queso fresco with it, I'm going to leave you right here so you can make that determination on your own. I hope you're having a very blessed day wherever you are and I'll see you soon. Bye! I hope you're having a very blessed day wherever you are and we'll see you soon. Bye!